I wonder sometimes if what we've done by creating Section 35 is to give Aboriginal peoples some dignity again as a people, which we had completely taken away with all of the things we've done to them. We take their land away, we take their children away, <laughs> we try and Christianize them, we try and do everything we can to get rid of them and their cultures. And I think that what Section 35 has allowed is for Aboriginal people to stand up and say, you can't do that to us anymore. And now they have a tool. They have a big tool that they can use to shield themselves from the majority who want everything they have. We want their land, we want their resources, we want every, we, we try to take everything from them, their children we take. And so but this has allowed that to stop. And I think that for Aboriginal people, it's been the tool or the thing we've leaned on most in order to um, move forward with the idea that Aboriginal peoples can exist within this country as a people, as a people with dignity and with, with a, a, a culture that needs to be respected and that they can continue to live as people in this country. And it's not a threat to the country. It's not something that that diminishes us. In fact, it adds to this, makes us a better country if we allow that um, them to continue as people, as people with all of the rights and human dignities that we say people should have, but we never let them have before. Um, so I think it's it it's shifted everything, and Aboriginal peoples have used it. Um, a great deal. I think there's over 45 cases that have gone to the Supreme Court of Canada that are Section 35 cases since 1982. That's a lot of litigation that has... Um, so we're building a base body of law and now government has changed. Government has had to change in uh, reaction to the case law as the Supreme Court of Canada has been, I would say, a great champion for Aboriginal people. I, mean, I know a lot of Aboriginal people think they're not enough of a champion, but from my own perspective is that they are um, progressively giving, uh, fleshing out Section 35 and giving it content and meaning, and, and in many, many, many ways it's been a good thing. It's a good thing for Aboriginal people, and I think it's a good thing for the country.